Hello, this is going to be an odd little video. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to put it out on the channel. I don't even know if my microphone's working. I've come for a day in London and uh, I'm just going to take you along with me. So I think the first place I'm going to go is Blackfriars. So I used, to, I used to travel here every day, I used to commute. I grew up in London, I'm from London, I went to school just over there. Let's see if we pass it in a minute. But I moved out and uh, not very far, about an hour's commute from London. So I used to travel in to meet with my writing partner and we used to write um, in Festival Hall back there, we used to sit in prayer. So we used to work along the cafes along here in the National Theatre that we're going to walk past in a moment. And I used to commute in every day. Then in about, I think it was 2016, I, we split up. But I still kept travelling in. <laughs> you know like those businessmen who, who get fired and they still travel to work with a suit and a briefcase? I, I did that. I mean, obviously I came in to work and do my own writing, but it did feel a bit pointless, but I just needed the, the regularity of it. I just like the structure of coming into London on a season ticket and doing my work and then leaving. I, I also, I was a member at the Royal Festival Hall and they've got a members lounge right at the top there. It's a really gorgeous place. Let's see if I've got some footage of it. So I'm going to do a bit of writing here now. Look at the view, look at the view. So coming back now feels really strange because we had the, obviously the, the two or three years of the Rona and I just haven't come in as much. I only come in now, I only come into London with my son to make these goofy videos where we try to find things to do. Um, there's a link to those in the description. I think I'm going to move them over to this channel. Uh, it's all a bit of a work in progress at the moment. Let me know what you think in the comments, it'd be great to hear from you. There's a woman down there doing, I think she's scavenging. Should we have a look? She's got a trowel. I wonder what she's looking for. Yes, yeah, I think it's something on my bucket list. I think it's something I want to do with my son if the tide is out. But it feels really wrong to go down there. But there are, I'm not sure there are any signs saying it's illegal. I think you can, I'm not sure, is that against, I mean, it looks like it's really against the law, doesn't it? This is a dilemma, I don't know if I'll leave this in, but um, I really want to go down there onto the foreshore uh, of the river. But I really want to do it with my son, so I don't really want to do it right now. But uh, now's the perfect time. It would be really easy to just jump over that, go down the steps, and just go down to the shore. I will do it, I will do it. And I'll do it on this channel. Uh, that might be the experiment. What can we do in London wearing high-vis vests? Because no one challenges you. When, you, when you're wearing high-vis, I was at the, the Oasis concert in Nebworth, the really famous one, and we're right at the back of the, right at the, back of the crowd, couldn't see anything. And uh, there's a group of people in front of us, and the group was saying to one person, go on, do it, do it, do it, go on, do it. And he pulled out a high-vis vest from his rucksack, put it on, and just said really super confidently, coming through, coming through, and the crowd just parted. And we caught this slipstream of their mates following this, this high-vis vest person, this fake high-vis vest person all the way to the front of the stage. It was brilliant. The, the crowd would close up as soon as they'd realise, hang on, I'm just doing this for some person wearing high vis. And this is LWT as, as I, I know it. it. I grew up in London. Uh, you might know it as the ITV building. I worked there, well, around the corner from here. I, had to, I came over for lunches sometimes with my ID card and they're taking it down taking it down. I think it's such a beautiful building. I love the black and white stripes and it's just the right size as well. It's so sad. Came to so many TV studio recordings here. Look, you can see that's where the LWT sign and the ITV sign were uh, just there in the tower just behind it. I used to come with my mates um, to see shows here and I, I just really wanted to work in telly. 
I really wanted to be behind the camera and here I am, uh, many years later, holding a camera, broadcasting to the world <laughs> for free, <laughs> forever, in high definition and definition that's, that's even better than LWT's million pound cameras. Oh, I really wanted to work there, glad I did it. And over there, I've done this on my channel loads of times before, that building over there is my old school. I got a government uh, assisted place because my family from a lower socio-economic background and so I qualified for free school fees um, in very posh school it's quite Hogwarts like inside uh, but we we're only up we we're, we we're only there till my third year 19 well I won't say what year because <laughs> it was a long time ago but then it moved to opposite of Tate Modern but they've kept the, the great hall, that's the great assembly hall. It's just between those two white cranes there. I mean, obviously it was a fee paying school, so it was quite posh, but um, because it's in the middle of London and everyone had to get the tube in, I think we were kids quite streetwise, actually, having I mean, to do a 40 minute commute to and from school each way. I think it, it gave me character. I'm not sure what character, uh, being an angry commuter character, maybe. And that's, that's the genesis of this channel. Enjoying myself. The first place I'm going to is Pret on Blackfriars Bridge Road. And it's somewhere where I used to do a lot of writing. I'm, this is what it looks like now. I haven't been here for a very long time. I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging from inside uh, the Pret, so I'll just do all my talking now just to, to show you this is where it is. You can go up these stairs. <laughs> wow, it looks like they're cleaning Blackfriars Bridge. It won't last long, but I love that they've knocked the buildings down here so you can actually see uh, it's, you've got some better sight lines now. Walking around cat coffee shops around here is ABC. Always be charging. There's also a toilet here, which is quite handy because uh, you have to know where the nearest toilet is when you're when you're travelling around London like this. So that went well. I was there for about an hour got a lot done. I was uh, writing up some ideas for this channel. All I do is just get the pen on the page and just keep it moving and see how much that I can, uh, how much I can get out of my head in one go. And then the best bit is reading through, back through it and just boxing out the bits that I like. Going back to the toilet, ABC always be c***ing. <laughs> but why, do you know this, why do they always put full length mirrors? right next to the toilet bowl. I don't get it. Is it, it maybe it's to encourage you to go more quickly, and you know, because it feels like you're, you're sitting next to someone or something. We're now gonna go over there to Blackfriars Thameslink Station. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye.